Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. So far, we've only looked at the alien movies of zero budget auteur Don Dola, but Fiend is something else. An evil spirit inhabits a dead body and instantly kills, restoring the body so the reanimated corpse is able to go house hunting by a cat. Are you hungry, Dorian? <laughs> Note the name Dorian and set up a home business teaching violin. No, 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 you're not cradling the instrument properly, Miss Weiss. Which in seven months seems to have blossomed into a music empire. Although the piano lessons were down a bit this month, sir, we increased our sheet music sales by 23% over last month. How he has the money to do any of this, I don't know, but there's a problem. To stay young, Longfellow, as he calls himself, must continue killing. And his neighbor, Gary, is getting suspicious. There is definitely a psycho loose. While Gary's wife discounts his suspicions. All right, all right, go over there and make a fool of yourself, but Longfellow will have the last laugh. That's the plot. It's not complicated. The problems are more complicated, so bear with me. Firstly, how often does Longfellow have to kill to stave off premature decomposition? Two girls strangled within a few miles of each other within two days of each other. And as the movie progresses, it becomes clear that this wasn't a one-off just because he was hungry. And tomorrow, we shall renew ourselves again. He has to kill every day. And if he doesn't, he would probably be spotted. But how do you kill every day for seven months without there being a massive manhunt? But Charlie tells me there's been a whole chain of strangulation murders. It's what, all around here? Starting over in Monroe County, then in Porterstown, then in Seville County, and now here in Kingsville. My God. But we know that he's lived here practically since he came back. So when he started, he traveled a distance to kill people, and since then has been moving progressively closer, like an arrow guiding the police to his current location, culminating... by killing in his own backyard. Found little Christy Michaels dead. What? Oh, dear Lord, no. Leading Gary to pay Longfellow a visit. It's a nice organ. Thanks. But in his basement, Gary finds Longfellow's kill room, complete with a shrine to the slashed photos of his victims. And this room is straight out of the Middle Ages. I mean, skulls, candles, the works. Although his wife's still not buying it. He probably collects antiques as a hobby. I think you're just picking on the man because he plays a violin and you don't like him. Maybe tell the police? He says Longfellow was clean. A fine, upstanding member of the community. And has been ever since he sprang into existence from nowhere seven months ago. But Gary's concerns aren't that simple. I saw a Longfellow. He looked 70 years old. And he reads up on supernatural history. Dorian near well gives himself Dorian away. Dorian near well gives himself away. Dorian, get down. Dorian, like the cat. Gary also checks out the site of a recent grave robbing. Lord, I thought they let all that die down. You mean Mr. Dorian? That's right, you know him. Dorian again. That makes no sense. The spirit possessed the late Mr. Dorian to become Longfellow. Yeah, he was a music teacher up the grade school. There's no suggestion Dorian was a killer, so the name is a coincidence, unless the spirit is specifically tracking down people of that name. Also... Well, for one thing, he was one of them there English fellers. Is Longfellow meant to be English? 
Things now start to close in on Longfellow. He asked his assistant for an alibi. If you could tell me why you had me lie to the police. Call me crazy, that seems suspicious. Longfellow acts. Hello, sir. I came as soon as I could. Why did you want to meet me here? This man has trouble linking events to consequences. <laughs> but surely someone will notice he's missing, and this time the victim is directly linked to Longfellow. I've sent him on a buying trip to Europe. Well, that'll be impossible for the police to verify. Also, there was a witness. Who tells Gary. If your parents will let you, would you come up to my house with me and tell Mrs. Kender just what you told me? And then we'll call the police and tell them too, okay? Calling the cops is important, but first I have to rub my wife's face in it. But. <laughs> if only she'd lived long enough for me to tell her I was right. You kill her! You kill her! And after a brief fight. <laughs> the spirit goes, presumably in search of another dead Dorian living in a place where no one notices, I did the maths, an absolute minimum of 213 deaths. And Charlie says the cops don't have a single good lead on him. Okay, this is Don Dola, which comes with a certain level of God love him, he's trying, but even so, the logical flaws in this are massive. And that's before we get to the question of why Longfellow has a murder room in his basement with only a curtain separating it from where he teaches his students. They say some murderers want to get caught. Even those murderers don't go to these lengths to ensure it. And if you don't like it, you can... I know. I can stick it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. To see more slasher movie reviews, click here. What other movie serial killers are just begging to be caught? Let us know in the comments below. Yes, of course. Well, listen, I must go now, Dennis.